celebrating 30 years on PBS. The Drum Corps International World Championships are brought to you in part through grants from Pearl Corporation, the best reason to play drums. Yamaha Band and Orchestra Products Division, play the best you can. Disney Magic Music Days at the Walt Disney World Resort, the performance of a lifetime. By Dynasty, just playing our part in support of Drum Corps International. Fred J. Miller, the Image Makers. Stanbury Synergy Washable Uniforms, it's all about the performance. Dear Mom and Dad, it's hard to describe how wonderful this summer has been. Imagine 28 different states we've traveled through, performing 40 shows, all while making 134 new friends. It would take too long to describe all the amazing places we've seen and the special experiences we've had. Through hours of practice and rehearsal, the entire core has actually come together as one unit. I really miss you guys, but this is a journey I never want to end, especially on show days. The 11 minutes on the field are truly magical, and it shows. One of the alumni who visited last week suggested that this entire experience could be summed up with three words, dedication, excellence, and rewards. I have to agree with him. Our daily dedication has led to overall excellence. And the rewards? That will be sharing all of this with you on finals night in Denver. since 1965. I think it's very exciting. I think this is the biggest DCI I've ever seen. I was able to make championships in 74, 75, 76. It's something that's exhilarating, really gets your blood pumping. Super flat. I'm playing for the Blue Devils. Yeah. <laughs> I like magic because they tie. And we're staunch Cavaliers fans. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. 2001, 2003, 2004, Denver, Colorado. This is Drum Corps. Welcome to Denver, Colorado, where tonight the world's finest drum and bugle corps have expectations a mile high. Hello again, everybody. I'm Steve Rondonero. Delighted to be your host for a 26th year here of the Drum Corps International World Championships on PBS. With me once again, DCI Hall of Famer, Dennis DeLucia. Dennis, we're looking forward to a night of great music, motion, and emotion. Thank you very much, Steve. You know, this is the 33rd DCI World Championship, and I'm proud to say that I've been to every one of them. But this is the best lineup of all, with strong shows from top to bottom and an intriguing battle at the top between the Cavaliers and Blue Devils. Tonight you hear music ranging from rock to swing, from jazz to Latin, and from classical to James Bond. Bond. In addition to the music, we're going to introduce you to some of the young people who make this activity so very special. You'll learn about the commitment they put into it and what they get out of it. Speaking of young people, our two colleagues tonight were out on this very field competing just two years ago, Jessica Allen and James Landrum. Steve, each of these chorus has traveled thousands of miles this summer. They've rehearsed with sunburn and blisters. They've slept with aching backs on hard gym floors. They've even performed shows in the rain and the mud. Now, they've survived this all together as a group, but at the end of the day, success is going to be determined by the individual. So it's up to each and every member of these cores to step out into this field tonight, dig deep, and pull off their best performance. 
James, I'll never forget my last finals night. It was the most amazing experience of my life. Now, I've seen a lot of drum corps this summer, and I've seen everything building up to tonight's competition. There's some great performers out there. And you know what? We have one of the coolest jobs out there. We get to talk to them right after they perform. It's going to be an incredible night. Tonight's top 12 cores have held on through quarterfinal and semifinal eliminations. Last night, we watched the 17 best in the world as they qualified for tonight's top 12. The Blue Devils bested the Cavaliers a week ago at the Indianapolis Regional, but last night, the Cavaliers qualified at the top. The results of semifinals seed the cores into tonight's competition. The Cavaliers just a few tenths ahead of the Blue Devils. They've had quite a rivalry going on this season. We'll feature the top six and show you highlights of the six that have already performed a bit later. Let's start with the newest core in this rarefied atmosphere, Carolina Crown. This show is about bohemian life, Steve. They've rocketed to sixth place on the strength of their show design, one that the kids enjoy performing and obviously the audiences love. Great concept, great coordination. You guys ready? Yes! I can see it in your eyes. This is what you worked for. You delivered tonight. Tonight is what your year is about. Those times when you said, I don't know if we're having fun, guess what? You're gonna have fun tonight. It's time to now sing out. Something that I have come to find, I'll never leave behind. Yes, I did.
Bohemia, center stage. The Queen Rock Classic, Bohemian Rhapsody. I love this core. I love this show. 26,000 people on their feet. This is great. You know, they haven't scored as well this year in music, brass or percussion, but they've done very well in general effect and visual. When you talk about scoring, let's explain how it all works. How do you judge such a variety of performances as you're going to see tonight? The perfect score is 100. At this year's championships, there are nine judges. Six of those judges are up in the press box. You'll see three down on the field. Two of the judges are evaluating general effect. That is the big picture, both in look and sound. Three visual judges evaluate achievement in marching and moving from field level and from the press box, with one judge paying particular attention to the color guard. The music score is derived from the average of four judges who rank and rate excellence in brass and percussion. When we combine the general effect, visual and music numbers, we arrive at the core's final score. Now the competition is an important motivator to be sure, but you're going to see through the course of tonight that the scores are one small part of this activity. Push the tempo, 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 push the tempo. You get hooked on it. Drum score is something that you, you get addicted to. To be able to do this all in the summer, you, you pretty much have to be just crazy. It's like a bug. It just bites you, and you get it, and you can't, you can't stop. People really, if they haven't been to a show, if they haven't been to a rehearsal, if they don't know someone that has marked drum corps, they really don't know what it's all about. They don't understand that we rehearse 12 hours a day out in the sun. The sweat is kind of rewarding in itself, you know? You just kind of stop and like look down at myself and I'm just like drenched, head to toe, just completely drenched. And I'm like, life doesn't get much better than this, you know? <laughs> normal creature comforts that they have at their dorm room or their house, they're not going to have here. They're going to live in a bus seat with a little rack over their head. The sacrifices you give up your whole summer. In a lot of ways, I, I've put my life on hold back home. You pay a lot of money. You're out in the sun, the heat, the weather. Sometimes I feel extremely drained and tired. But it's all worth it. It's, it's worth it. It takes dedication every day to wake up and do this for 12 hours a day. Like, this is just a 24-hour job. And the only time you're not on duty is when you're sleeping. Every day is just kind of a struggle. You wake up, and it's just about deciding what you want to do and how that day is going to be. If you're going to have a good day, if you're going to really bust your butt and learn something, or if you're just going to be tired. It's not hard to do when you have 135 people backing you up. Knowing that you're here with all of your brothers and like we're all going through the same thing. I mean, that just makes you want to push even harder. You have to mentally be there to push yourself because your body can get through it physically, but mentally you have to say, I'm going to be able to get through this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to give it on my own. This is the biggest team we'll ever be on, working for the same goal and all wanting to be here. Getting this many people on the field together who love it as much as I do or the next person, like that's, it is hard to find, but it's there and it's all here in your heart. When you finish the season, you're not thinking about the hard days that you had. I mean, you're thinking about what you just did in front of 30,000 people screaming for you, you know, and the hard day is nothing. You're never gonna remember that. At the end of the day and after that performance that is just golden, and you look someone in the eye and you just know it. Win, lose, or draw, it doesn't matter. As long as you know in the end of the day that you worked your butt off and those 134 other people with you know it. It's just, it's something you can't describe. As we mentioned earlier, six cores have already performed tonight. Let's give you a look, beginning with the Glassman.
that plays and plays, touching one key or another to cause vibrations in the soul. responding to the blue coats with the usual chant of blue. Meantime, the Cavaliers were keeping it cool, very loose in a James Bond kind of way on the route to the stadium tonight. Doesn't look like a whole lot of nerves here, does it? <laughs> the Blue Devils have their own way of rocking into the parking lot keeping their arch rivals clearly in their sights and their uniforms smelling good. Hey. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. 